Australian rugby's dominance in the 1980s and early 90s hinged on the back of its star winger, David Campisi. Here goes Campisi. The bounce is important here. Campisi! Yes! Try number 39 in test matches for Campo. Campisi, or Campo as he was known by his legion of fans, grew up in an Italian migrant family in Queanbeyan on the outskirts of Canberra. It was a long way from the private schools of Sydney. Now he can't find a coaching role in Rugby Australia. I coach in South Africa, uh, coach in Singapore, coach in England when I go across. Went over the Western Force a couple of years ago, did a session with their team. So you get involved, um, but it's, it's, it just seems to be a different sort of network these days. He's one of the many former players who have spoken to a new podcast about a sport racked by elitism, self-interest and a constant fight for power. Its host is Chief Sports Writer at The Australian, Jessica Halloran. People have relentlessly said to me during the course of this podcast, it's a private schoolboys club and if you're not in that club, then you're an outsider and you're never going to go anywhere. Former Tongan international turned Western Sydney coach Teki Tui Pelotu thinks racism runs deep in the sport. Oh, look, I know a lot of people who might get upset with me in, in, in saying this, and I'd be straight up, and to be honest, I feel there is a bit of, still a bit of racism concerning uh, Polynesians and also white people. And I still feel there is a bit of racism um, and discrimination here in Australia. I think it's a really interesting issue. I think moves that Rugby Australia have made around the anthem are really, really positive, but I think they need to go deeper and they need to ask themselves the question, why aren't there more Indigenous players in this code? Jessica Halloran says Rugby Australia needs to evolve, not just with more diversity on the field, but also in positions of power in corporate head office. While there are many Pacifica players, like, where are the Pacifica coaches? Where are the Pacifica chief executives? 